Hello y'all and welcome back survivors. We are late in the game playing Stranded Deep and today we are going to go over everything to know when it comes to farming from the tools we need, the different plots we can make, the plants we can plant, their purpose and how long it takes to grow. So let's dig in. Alright survivors, the first thing we are going to need here is a crude hoe. And that is a level 2 crafting requirement. We are going to need a rope or a lashing, a stone tool, and a wood stick to create. We can go ahead and hold down C to quick craft. Or, of course, go right into the menu and click on that. Bam! So now we have our crude hoe. Now once you do have the hoe in hand, we can go ahead and just press C and our farming tab will open up for us. We do have a wood farming plot, a plank farming plot, and a corrugated farming plot available to us. The wood is going to take one lashing and four sticks, the plank farming plot, two plank scrap, as well as the corrugated farming plot, two corrugated scrap there. And you can place these anywhere in the world as long as they don't intersect with one of these ficus trees or a palm tree here. And of course anything that you have already built. So we're just going to lay out eight of these for the eight different items that we have available to us. Now the only difference between these farming plots, besides the actual look of course, is how much water charge they will hold. The wood farming plot holds 4 water, the plank farming plot holds 8 now, I don't, I don't know why, it, it used to be 6, and the corrugated farming plot holds 8 as well. I'm sure that this will be more than likely changed in a future update. The corrugated farming plot is the best one to have, so if you do have the resources, definitely use that corrugated scrap for your farming as it holds in the water a lot better than these two here. Now each of these does start out with one water charge inside already, but of course we are going to need a container to transfer water and we'll get into that in just a minute. Now as far as what we have to plant here, I do have them laid out so you can see the actual plant if you haven't already. We do have a yucca tree here, and hiding inside there is a yucca fruit, which of course <laughs> I just can't highlight right now of course we have an ajuga plant we have our aloe plant we have a pee pee or pie pie however you want to uh, pronounce it there a lava lava vula plant which i do believe is only for the console players of stranded deep we have our kura plant or kura tree rather a kawawa fruit i do believe is the way you pronounce that guy right there and our lovely potato plant here now what are each of these going to make? Well now with this yucca fruit we're going to be able to obviously make our yucca tree which is great for fibrous leaves so we can fill up our water still or make a buttload of rope. That rope really does go fast. Our aloe plant is going to be for aloe salves. Our jugga plant for the breath boost here. A pie pie plant, we'll call it a pie pie plant, <laughs> for our antidote. And once we do have the antidote we can make shark repellent if we pair it up with a lionfish here. The Lava Lava Luva <laughs> plant, I have no idea about. I fell into the developer console, thought I would bring it out here. Now the Kura and the Kawawa fruit, those are going to be used to make a homeopathic gauze here, which works just like a bandage to stop bleeding. Very, very helpful there. And the potato, of course, we are going to be using to make fuel later on in the game. Now you can eat all three of these, the Kura fruit and the Kawawa fruit will give you two bars of food as well as one bar of water, and the potato will give us two bars of food. But of course, we're probably going to be using those to make fuel here. So we're just going to gather all these up, get them into their respective plots here, and as you did see, those three uh, <laughs> those three fruit items as well as the potato are all spoiled, but that does not really matter when you're planting as they will go ahead and still bear fruit. Their seeds are good. We just don't want to eat those. Otherwise, you're going to get mighty sick. There we go. Spoiled, spoiled, still plantable, and spoiled, still plantable. So if you don't believe me, there's your proof right there. Alright, next what we need to do is get some water into these bad boys, and how are we going to do that? Well, we got three different containers for us. If we go into the consumables tab, we will see we have a coconut flask, a water skin, and then the water bottle here. Now, to make a coconut flask, all we do need is a raw coconut and one lashing here. And this is going to give us one serving of water. It does take 
a bit of time to go back and forth. So really, this one, just not that viable. Let's get that out of here. The next best thing is to go ahead, and if you don't already have a tanning rack in place, you're going to want to put this tanning rack up. That takes four lashing and four sticks here. We can go ahead and place that, and now all we need is two leather and one stick. I don't know why that one's there. <laughs> so now we can craft our water skin as long as we're next to our tanning rack there. And this awesome container is going to give us three servings of water. Does make it a little bit quicker there, but still, that's not good enough. We are all about time saving here. So what we're going to want to make is this bad boy, the furnace. And this takes two lashing, three sticks, and six clay here which is also just a great fire source, a great light source, because you don't need to start it up. It is always burning, and it really does give you a great amount of light, and you can pretty much see it from uh, all the way over on, a, on another island. So really cool, that little furnace there. Now all we're going to need is two clay and one lashing here, and we can go ahead and make our water bottle, which this gives us five servings of water quite a bit and this is really gonna help when you just don't want to spend all that time going back and forth here so let's go ahead and get all of these watered up here and of course I have all these water bottles waiting for me that I'm just not using yeah so since the update these two did go to eight each but this used to be six there's four in that one, and there is come on, four in that one. So double that, there'd be eight in each, and just four for the wood farming plot. But I'm sure that'll change in a future update. Definitely, if you have it, put up that corrugated farming plot so you just don't have to worry about watering your plants as much when you're out spelunking, or if you just forget like I always do. All right, excellent. Now we have those completely full up, and it's always good to note that the rain will fill these up as well. You know, it's just like your water stills, but it's it's not good to rely on the weather in this game. <laughs> That's how you get withered plants. But just remember, if you do get a withered plant or a spoiled piece of uh, fruit or the potato, you can still replant it. I was planning on showing you all that, but unfortunately, since the update, it, it seems like these just don't want to wither for me. But if it is withered, just press E to clear the farming plot and you can go ahead and plant whatever you'd like right back inside it. And all of these plants here do have a 48 hour spawn period from the time of either picking or from the time of planting. So 48 hours in, you're going to have yourself a bountiful harvest here. So there you go, y'all, the farming tips and tricks video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button as it really, really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. It, it doesn't hurt, I promise. <laughs> but just remember, we relate in the game, but better late than never. Have a great play, y'all.